you gotta check out the image quality of this Vapex fixed frame screen. It is bright, crisp, and clear. What a value. Vapex fixed frame screens come in diagonal dimensions of 92, 106, and 120 inches at amazingly affordable prices. Dedicated for home theater rooms, these 16x9 screens have durable and washable screen surfaces for astounding reflectivity. All Vapex screens assemble in minutes and come with a 12-month warranty. Others say their screens are easy to assemble. I'm going to show you just how easy. Although made of high-quality aluminum, these fixed frame screens are fairly heavy, so be careful when carrying them. Unpack your box and lay out all your pieces on a smooth, clean surface to protect your velvet frame from scrapes, dirt, and lint. A king or queen size sheet works best. There are six black velvet aluminum frame pieces. There are four corner brackets and two straight connector pieces for the longer sides of the screen. You will use eight of the screws provided for the corner pieces and eight for the straight connector pieces. Included is a box of plastic frame clips used to lock the fabric onto the frame. The screen material comes in a protective tube. There are also six plastic covered steel rods that will stretch the fabric onto the frame. There are four wall brackets and 10 self-tapping screws, along with drywall screw inserts. It will be helpful to have these tools, a level, a drill with a Phillips head, a rubber mallet or hammer with a protective cloth, a tape measure, and a stud finder. It's important to assemble your screen on a large flat surface covered with a sheet so the velvet surface of the frame and the screen material don't get damaged or dirty during assembly. Now use the connector pieces to join both top pieces and both bottom pieces or the long sides of the frame together. Slide into the slot, tapping with a rubber mallet when necessary. Now line up the screw holes and secure the screws. After you've completed the two long sides of the frame, now insert your first corner joint into one end of the long side. Line up your screw holes and secure the two screws. If the frame doesn't come together easily, gently wiggle it until it fits together. Use the same technique on the other end to attach the last short frame. You should now have a U-shaped frame consisting of one long side and two short sides. Finally, attach the last long section of the frame to the U-shaped frame using your corner connectors. Adjust to find the screw holes and secure the screws. Now your frame is done. Take out the screen and steel rods. Be sure to wash your hands thoroughly before touching the screen material. Begin by unrolling your screen material. Included are six rods. Of the six rods, two are long and four are short. The two longer rods are for the sides of the screen. The four short rods are for the top and bottom of the screen. Your finished frame should now be facing down on top of your protective sheet. Slowly unroll your screen fabric over the back side of the frame. Now take the long lengths of the metal rods and slide it into the short ends of the fabric. Now place the rods into the groove that runs around the sides of the frame. Begin in the middle and work your way to the outside edges. As you slide the metal rod into the frame, attach it using the plastic clips. Again, start in the middle and move to the outside edges with the clips. Now do the other short end of the screen. Make sure you move from the center to the outside edges. Stretch the screen as necessary to remove any wrinkles. Complete the sides first and then the top and lastly the bottom.
When attaching the bottom of the screen material, you'll need to stretch tightly and allow the material to fit in the grooves. This is the hardest part of stretching the fabric and lock it into place using the plastic clips. Congratulations, you've now finished your fixed frame screen. Now, where to put it? Have two people hold the screen on the wall where you'd like it. Mark the top of the screen with a pencil. Now using your level, draw a line to mark the location for the top of your screen. Along that line, find the studs and mark your location for your three wall plates. Using two screws, attach the wall plate to the wall as marked. Repeat for the remaining two wall plates. Now attach your screen to the wall by sliding it down flush onto the wall mounts. You can use a soft cloth with warm water to remove any marks on your screen surface or frame. Never use anything other than plain water. If you're not going to use your home theater screen for a long time, you can use a sheet to cover it to avoid dirt and dust accumulation. Vapex screens come with a three and a half inch bezel. Compared to others, that'll look great in your home theater. Rock and roll, you're done. Sit back, relax, and watch the show. Thanks for watching. For your home theater, make it a Vapex screen.